So let's count these nests together. So there's one, which is right below my door. And then over here, look at here. I have two, that's three. Over there's four. There's five, six, and seven. There are seven nests here. Seven wasp or hornet nests. I don't know which, which or which. You guys might be able to tell. It doesn't matter. What I do know is if they sting you, they hurt. So we're going to start spraying them. You guys might want to back on out of here. Um, I'm going to start in the back and work my way towards the door so I don't get trapped in here, okay? Oh, my gosh. It didn't even spray. Let's do more. Let me get out of here. Move. Coming out. Coming out to fix it. All right, so I got my spray to work. Some of y'all would say, Les, you should start from the door and work your way in. No, I'm gonna work my way from the door, from the back and work my way out. So if they get mad, I can just run. But if I spray here and they get mad, I'm trapped inside here. So I'm gonna go to the back over here. And it's, the spray is pretty far. I, I'm not even gonna stop spraying. I'm just gonna keep spraying and spraying and spray until I just don't see nothing fine. All right, boy. Man, we're knocking, uh-oh. I saw some fly out. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. There's still some that are flying around. Okay, guys, I got the goosebumps all over me. My arm is just goosebump. Okay, I think that I may have overdone a little bit. But for anybody who has dealt with hornets or wasps, I think you can appreciate the fact this stuff sprays so far, uh, I am not sponsored by Raid, Wasp, and Hornet, but i tell you what I'll do. Oh, my God. There's another one. Didn't see that one. Ah, they're out. Did not see that one. Okay. Move it, Trixers. All right. We will just let those guys die. And uh, I am going to go ahead and close this back up. How about that? Oh my goodness, kills the entire nest. Kills wasp and hornets on contact. Electronically, it's non-conducting. Well, that's good to hear, now that I spray all my well. <laughs> yeah. I always say this and it's true. Our ancestors would be so jealous. They would be so jealous. They would, buddy, They'd be so jealous of us. I really do think our forefathers, uh, if they were in heaven looking down, some of the things they would see us doing, they would be shaking their heads. They would be like, oh my God, we're just one of these kids. But there's other things they would be very happy and proud of us for. You have to know there it has to kind of be a little bit of each. I will tell you this, and this is how technology has kind of changed us. Do you know that if for some reason I lost my phone or if my phone battery went dead and I was on the side of the road or if I was somewhere else where I didn't have access to a phone, I wouldn't know who or how to call anybody. I don't know any numbers. The only numbers I have memorized are the numbers that I had when I was a kid. Yes, I can still remember our phone number from when I was a kid, 281-689-5132. Uh, remember my, when I got my first, uh, when I got my first phone to my apartment, uh, 281-399-9886. How do I remember these numbers from 20 plus years ago? And I don't remember, I don't know Ellie's phone number. I don't know Jamie's phone number. I don't know anyone's cell phone number. And no one has those old numbers anymore. So, isn't that horrible that you, if you, if I lost my phone, I would be in a really bad place because I wouldn't know how to get a hold of anybody. All right, there's my hay up here. Now, uh, what we're going to do is I'm using the truck and the trailer. I'll go by and get one tractor over on this pasture. 
and we will take that tractor and load up the trailer I'm pulling behind me. Then I will drive the truck over, uh, hopefully I can carry five rolls at a time, over to the barn and we'll use a second tractor over there to unload. What I don't wanna do is take a tractor and drive it back and forth and back and forth 26 times. Can really do a lot to tear up your yard, tear up all of your grass. And I have to drive right through there to do that. I don't wanna do it that way. I'd rather take the truck and just do it in five loads and be done and stay on the road the entire time. So that's my plan. Well, I guess we're just gonna go with four rolls. Okay, so that didn't work out so well. We got at least four on there. And then we'll take these four over to the barn. I'll leave one tractor here and we'll unload with the other one over at the barn. Man, I, I had this brilliant idea. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens right there. You know, I was, it was a funny story. I was telling a friend of mine uh, that I don't trust anyone else to stack my hay. Yes, I did. I let Ben move the hay from all over the pasture. He brought it all to this to this area for me, which helps me a whole lot in this next phase of the hay process. But I don't just trust anybody to stack it inside the barn. And that's what can happen right there. Thank God there was no dogs here. Thank God there was no kids running around. So that was kind of funny and not funny. This is how dusty it is out here. This is my first trip. My first load. And look at that already. All right, here we go with load number two, which is actually roll number eight. Eight rolls. The um, question is gonna arise, I can promise you, it's going to arise. Lester, if you're not even living there, how come you ain't making LA and Bennett do that? And uh, the answer to that is simple. There are some jobs that I refuse to relinquish to anybody. <laughs> I don't even like when Ellie mows my yard. I know, I know, I know. Uh, at some point you have to relinquish control of things, but uh, anyone who's getting and has gotten older knows that some things are easier than others. That's my seatbelt, chingamaligi, 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 that's my seatbelt, chingamaligi. But uh, no, I, this is hay, and this has to do with the longhorns, the horses, the cows, more so than anything else. And so this is still something that gives me purpose. I get purpose in this. And you don't want to take away anyone's purpose, y'all. You don't. You don't. That's the first step in uh, making someone get old. Force them to get old is to steal their purpose and steal their joy. And so is it a little bit of work? Yes. Is it hot? Yes. Is it up in that tractor, easy on my knees? No. But it's my purpose. And here I go with round number three. <laughs> round number three. That would be rolls 12. So we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. Um, 
So I've only got an 18 roll stack. I still got several more. I cannot block my door. So I can put another one here, one on top. But the issue comes with all of this green hay. This is stuff we've not used yet. We're still going through it little by little at both this property and Longhorn Lusters. Uh, if I start stacking hay in front of it, we're gonna have to work around the back side to get to it. And uh, I mean, we can do that. It's just very, very heavy. And I hate to put the kids, you know, Ellie and Ben and Megan through more work than what they already do. Those things are not light. And so what's gonna probably have to happen is I'll have to leave a little bit of a walkway along through here. So I can kind of start stacking my hay across maybe. Let me get this stuff here moved out of the way. Friends, this should be the last load. What I'm looking at over here are five rolls of hay. One, two, three, four, five. My question is, can I get all five on this trailer? <laughs> you saw what happened at the beginning, right? Oh, uh, should I even try this? I don't want to end up losing one on the side of the road. It falls in the ditch and I can't get it out and we have an entire roll of hay wasted. You know what? I gotta think about this for a minute. All right, I'm gonna show you all a secret, a trick that I learned from my friend Terry. He owns the Longhorn Ranch. I call him the Tiger King. Uh, he's my neighbor over at Longhorn Lester's. I'm gonna show you something that he taught me. This is gonna be really cool. I'm gonna actually double load on each side of it. Since the axle is where you can support the most weight, I'm gonna double load right over there one on each side, tilted at an angle where they fit in like a puzzle. Y'all watch, this is gonna be really neat. I'll get the first couple ones going first. All right, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Lots of fun. See, there is a way to have fun while you load your hay. All right, I'm gonna go about halfway over and I'm gonna tilt it down right there and back on up out of it. No, 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 no. I do not want that to happen. I want it to lean, gosh darn it. I want it to lean. <laughs> Y'all better bear with me. Y'all better bear with me. Sheesh, fire. Lean. Stay right there. Stay right there. Boy, now I've really messed up. Now I have really messed up. Y'all, I'm doing this with one hand. I hope y'all realize that. Look. Don't you dare. I gotta hold my camera. I am gonna tear my roll of hay completely up trying to impress everybody. Man. I'm gonna tear my roll of hay completely up. It looked a lot easier when Terry did it. No. No. Sheesh. Gosh darn. Never mind. You know what? That is not what we had in mind, and I'm tearing that roll of hay completely up by trying to do it this way. Oh, man. I had visions of really trying to impress you guys. Looks like now there'd be no one impressed with my handiwork. There we go. Let's try it again.
friends, that's a job well done. We have 25 rolls of hay stacked inside of my barn. I'm taking that one there with the Longhorn Lusters. And uh, hopefully by the time we get our next cutting, we will have all that green hay uh, fed up and moved out of here. If not, we will have to move that into one of the stalls, which we've done it before, and that'll be fine. Um, and then that will give us enough space to stack our other 25 rolls out towards the front of the barn here. And uh, if I, and then of course what I'll do on the back side is I'll take down this uh, fencing I have and come in and stack from the back side while I'm at it. While I'm at it, <laughs> uh, thank you to your suggestions. I will probably go ahead and just install me a gate right there. And that way I can go ahead and feed my hay in the order that it was harvested off the field. Uh, kind of like a shelf life in a grocery, a grocery market. You guys know what I'm talking about, how you move the old stuff to the front. Well, in this case, we can't do that here, but what we can do is uh, feed it from the back. Okay, well, hey, thank you all for hanging out with me today. It's always funner and gooder. Moving hay, yeah, moving hay. Even moving hay is funner and gooder when you do it with friends that you love and care about. That would be you all. While I'm here, I don't want to just walk off and not show you guys what's going on everybody hi santoro you're sitting by your water trough uh and all of these turkeys boy i tell you what he may have had a hard time with moses but do y'all think that he would rather have moses <laughs> than all of these feathered babies <laughs> yeah that's that's what i'm thinking too i bet you santoro if santoro had a choice if it was called santoro's choice would he rather be right here with all these feathered babies sitting alongside his water trough and all these feathered babies. I've, I mean, listen to me, there's all varieties, y'all. There's ducks, there's turkeys, there's chickens, there's uh, peafowl. I saw a peacock, there's a, there's a rooster and a turkey uh, squabbling back and forth, and he's sitting right there, just staring out into the abyss of nothingness. Or would he rather be, oh, don't you? <laughs> What's wrong with your voice? You know what? I'm just going to end it right there. There's not much better. There ain't much more I can say because I don't even have to say shut your pie hole because you don't have much of a pie hole. What was... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't mean to laugh. There are a lot of people who are getting real sick and tired of me playing that same darn song in every one of my videos. So instead, maybe I'll try this one over here. They say don't go down Wolverton Mountain unless you're looking for a fight cause Clifton Clowers got a pretty young daughter she's pretty handy with a gun and a knife her tender lips are sweeter than honey and that mountain protects her there the birds and the bees tell Clifton Clowers if a stranger should wander there. I'm gonna go on over that mountain. I'm gonna find that Clifton Clowers. I'm gonna take that girl I love and take her right off over that mountain. I don't care about Clifton Clowers anymore. <laughs>